Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street Spoilers, Carla's Gift Begins Peter Barlow's Weatherfield Exit Recent episodes saw Carla, Allison King, heartbroken when she accompanied husband Peter to an AA meeting and learned that he was feeling unfulfilled in life. It is gut-wrenching when he opens up and says he feels like he is not living a life, Allison King told us. It really brings home what she has been thinking that even with her by his side he is not living a full life, he doesn't feel like it's enough for him. Peter has been pining for a taste of adventure since his Mallorca-based mate Mickey offered him a crewing position in his boat tour company. Peter put the idea to Carla that the pair of them could spend some time over there and it was a firm no, given her own issues with keeping Underworld afloat. But the recent postcards Peter has been receiving urging him to reconsider has only added to his regret. As a result, Carla made a bold decision and bought Peter a very special Christmas present. When Christmas Day dawns, Peter and Carla join the rest of the Barlows over at number one for the celebrations, and Tracy, Kate Ford, soon has her hands full when she realizes she's cooking for ten. Carla is touched when Peter gifts her a beautiful silver bracelet inscribed with P. Love's C, but how will Peter react when Carla unveils her own present? In a largely two-hander episode set to air on Boxing Day, Peter and Carla sit down for a tough conversation. As they reflect on their relationship, they come to realize that although they have a deep love for one another, perhaps they would be better off going their separate ways. Even though it doesn't go into specific details of all their past, it shows what they're like, as a couple, Ollie reveals. It was really nice to have that much time on them because people seem to enjoy them just having a conversation. It was something to get our teeth into with all the emotions, and it was a real journey. It was really, really lovely to do those scenes. We were filming solidly together for two days. There was a lot to learn. But aside from that it was amazing, but it was so emotional, I did not need any tear stick for those scenes. There was no way of knowing what would happen because every time we did it I literally filled up with emotion and started crying at different times in every scene, Ollie continues. Just seeing a different look from Chris would set me off because he's so wonderful at Meisner technique which involves an actor reacting to another actor's performance and behavior, he's so reactive. That's why I've loved working with him so much, it's always about the reaction. We can do things 1000 different ways in each take. And he's so brilliant every single time, it was just a different journey and you're absolutely spent and it's such a roller coaster of emotions. The pairing have built up a loyal legion of Carter fans since they first wed in 2013, and although the couple later divorced, they went on to remarry in 2021 shortly before Peter had a life-saving liver transplant. They've just got brilliant chemistry and we've got brilliant chemistry, we trust each other, Ollie comments. It just works. They really get each other and can go through anything and then there are the softer moments, they understand each other so much. They have kind of grown together such a lot. So I think the viewers can see that. It's just their chemistry and the way they're both perfectly imperfect people, but together, they kind of make sense. And I think, you know, that's what everybody it's wants to have. before Peter is leaving 15A Victoria Street with his bag as Carla follows, and he's touched to find his family, other than Simon, waiting for him outside. He bids a fond farewell to all, and there's a particularly touching moment as he promises Ken that he'll keep in touch. As Peter boards a tram to start his big adventure, Carla is left facing awkward questions later in the week as she attempts to carry on as normal, but will soon find herself with a rather big distraction. Roy, David Nielsen, is concerned for Carla when he hears of Peter's departure, and whilst Carla initially decides to return to work at the factory, she soon changes her mind and decides to instead work from home. On her way out, she almost knocks down Bobby Crawford, Jack Carroll, on the factory steps. When Bobby later calls at 15A, Carla buzzes him in expecting it to be her takeaway delivery, but is stunned when Bobby enters and reveals himself to be Rob Donovan's son, and therefore Carla's nephew. Carla is gobsmacked, but it transpires that Rob himself, who is currently languishing in prison, 
didn't know about 21-year-old Bobby's existence until recently. Bobby spins Carla a sob story about how he's been kicked out by his mom, and when Carla eventually hears from Rob, he gives her the full story. Carla reluctantly agrees that Bobby can stay for a short while. But it seems that Bobby could be sticking around for longer than expected when a delivery driver shows up with a van packed full of his possessions. Bobby realizes that his mom must have sent it on from home, and Carla's gutted to realize she's seemingly now found herself with a new housemate. On one of his fleeting returns home, Simon, Alex Baines, offers up his bedroom to Bobby, explaining that he'll go and stay with mom Leanne, Jane Danson. When Carla later finds Bobby at the Chariot Square Hotel attempting to chat up Debbie, Sue Devaney, it seems that Bobby is going to be quite the handful. What it does with Bobby coming into this scenario is snap her out of going into the doldrums and going all reflective, Ollie explains. She is trying to be quite cut and dry about, you know, I've done this, I've made this decision, I've helped Peter make this decision along the way to leave. But in the factory people are walking on eggshells around her and she doesn't want that. It was going to be tough so Bobby arriving has kind of snapped her out of that because he's so much trouble. Him coming in and creating havoc, and her having to support him in lots of different ways, stops any self-indulgence. So that's been amazing. Next week on Emmerdale, Torville and Dean make a surprise appearance in Emmerdale to help Belle pull off a special proposal.